Hi, this is Doug Crow from Author Your Brand, and I want to talk to you today about the worst advice we've all ever heard about building a list. Now, we've all know that building a list is important for uh, you know engagement, for uh, creating a business, for selling more products and services to your customers and database. But what's not really said is the methodology and the psychology behind list building and why it's important to do it the right way. Because most advice that we've, re we've heard in the past number of years, at least I've heard, is to uh, offer a free thing and uh, you know give them a free thing, a free chapter from your book or something like that, and then nurture them with an email sequence and give them content and engage with them. And I'm here to tell you all three of those pieces of advice are flat out wrong. Flat out wrong. There's been studies done, and I think this is backed up by um, a company called Lead Pages, who's, who's delivered over 1 billion leads, that anytime somebody gives um, a piece of content out as a lead magnet, as an opt-in, a way to get someone to exchange emails, uh, they've noticed a huge drop-off in the number of opt-ins. What works, what really works, is not anything that's going to cause them to take more time of their day or to... Um, uh, soak up more of their at resources, right? A free chapter requires the person who opts in to actually read an entire chapter of a book. Well, they don't want that. They want to. They want to do something that saves them time and money, not costs them time and money. So, um, Lead Pages has measured the data on over one billion leads, and they've come up with this magic formula that says anytime you can save the uh, person time and money, it's going to benefit you. You'll have a higher opt-in rate on your list. So as you create this lead magnet, this thing to give away to uh, create and build your list, make sure it's something short, sweet, and saves the recipient time or money. All right? You don't want to offer a free chapter of your book. Ugh, don't do it. The second myth, the second thing we've been taught and told that is totally untrue, is to um, give away content. The content is king. The more content you deliver, in your email sequences, the more people will respect you and like you and want to buy more stuff from you. And again, this is hogwash, right? Because content is ubiquitous. You Content you can find on Google for free. Anything somebody wants to know, they can just go to Google and get it for free. And I did a thing on list building right now, and I went to Neil Patel's blog and found some great stuff there. But what does that tell you? That tells you that the content you deliver is already out there. What they don't need is the content that's regurgitated from somebody else. I'd rather go to Neil Patel than me. What they're looking for is discernment. And that's critical because Google is a massive marketplace for content. How do you know which one to click on? How do you know which piece of content is going to be relevant to your audience? And that's where you come in, right? The more you can discern and filter content, and deliver what's really valuable to your readers, the better you'll have that engagement, the better they'll receive your content as having something that's been basically curated. That's the term that's used out there is curated content. So don't just take some piece of content and, and data dump on your audience. They don't want that. They want your perspective, your actual opinion on it, and they want to know that what you're saying is going to actually help them out, which brings us to the engagement part. And this is also a myth that, hey, you know, engage your audience. When you engage with them, they're going to uh, feel like they're part of the tribe. Well, how do you engage a person in an email? Now, I'm serious question. How do you take a monologue, a monologue and turn it into an engaging dialogue? You can't. Sorry. This is the reason authors have a, have a real struggle with communicating. Communicating is also listening and speaking. A book is a monologue. A book is not a dialogue. An email is a monologue. It's not a dialogue. That's not a true definition of engagement. Engagement is two people talking, listening. So how do you solve that in an email sequence? Well, what I'm encouraging you to do and what I'm doing right here in my own uh, program is offering real conversations with real authors. And that's not going to be done on email. It's going to be done on this live stream or in future live streams, or I'll bring somebody on Skype and have a conversation and ask questions and get answers and ask more questions and get people to their feedback coming online and asking more questions and having a conversation where there's dialogue back and forth. Uh, so I might promote that through an email, 
but I can't have a conversation through an email. It's not the right platform. Okay? So if you'd like to become a guest on this program, then it's very simple. I've got a, uh, a thing here you can actually book a call. And it's dougcrow.link forward slash call. And just schedule a time there. Say, hey, Doug, I'd love to be a guest on your show, on your podcast, your video cast, what the heck do you want to call this thing. And we'll have a quick conversation, see if it's, if it's a good fit for us or not, if it's going to help you out and help out our, uh, help out our listeners and, and viewers. And if that's true, then great. We'd love to have a conversation and actually have some true engagement for ourselves, for you, <clears throat> and for the people watching. So um, this is Doug Crow with Author Your Brand, and I look forward to speaking with you guys at least uh, once or twice a week here on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. I actually call Periscope for the uh, video program. And uh, if you want more information about what we do, it's also available by scheduling a call and finding out how we can create a best-selling book for you without writing a word. Have a great day, and uh, we'll see you later.